Hi guys, it's Malka here from Mind Performance Health. Today we're going to look at the 45 degree back extension. Now this exercise, particularly the way I'm going to show you to execute it, will help develop the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back, the posterior chain as well. But there's a particular way you need to do it to limit the chance of injury and make sure we're hitting the muscles that we want to develop. So you'll come into the machine itself. You'll set it up to a position where the pad's at the front are slightly below the hips. Now we don't want them too far below, but we want to have a good spacing between the, uh, the hips, the hip bone especially, so we can come down in the hinge. Now you'll start in the position, so feet, you can go out or in, I'm gonna show you the neutral position, so feet neutral. Hands onto your shoulders, depress your shoulders down to include your lats. And from this position here, we're going to break at the hips, but keep your upper body nice and stable. So you break at the hips, you'll soften your knees, now your hips will go high to the ceiling. I like to stretch my elbows in the bottom position here. You'll get much more of a stretch that way. But my hips are pointing high into the ceiling as I go down through the range. Now from this position here, I drive my hips, my glutes especially, hard into the bench, squeeze up, and I lock it out at this position. I don't hyperextend through the lower back because you will get pain to the lumbar. So you want to end in the position you started with. Hips go high to the ceiling, point your elbows forward and stretch. Squeeze your glutes and really contract them at the top. Squeeze your abs and like I said, depress shoulders down so your posterior chain is on. Do not hyperextend. Now, once you get used to that, you can add a, a dumbbell or a weight plate. Now to use that um, accessory a little bit more because we want progressive overload to develop over time, you would have the dumbbell in the bottom position You'll come down, grabbing the dumbbell either side, neutral, depress your shoulders down, and hold the dumbbell against you. From here, same thing. Hips will go high to the ceiling. You'll stretch down, softening the knees a little bit. From here, drive your glutes in, squeeze, and once again, end in that same position where you started. Don't hyperextend with load because that load's going to go straight onto your lower back. So basically, that's the way that I want you to execute, execute this movement to limit chance of injury, hit the right um, body parts. So you should feel a good activation of the glutes, should feel a good stretch in the hamstrings as well.